What's up, guys? My name is Ariana, and today I am watching Kill Bill Volume 2. If you want to check out the full reaction, go ahead on over to our Patreon. And please, please, please like and subscribe. I don't know about you guys, but I've always had a really hard time nailing down a signature scent. I always go back and forth between like florals and citruses and musk, and I really have never been able to stick with just one. So it's gotten kind of pricey before where I just have all these bottles of perfume where I sometimes I only wear them once a year. So the great thing that I discovered now is Scentbird. I am obsessed. Scentbird is reimagining everything about how people discover, shop for, purchase, and even experience fragrances. You can also discover your own style and build your collection. Scentbird acts as a place to express your individuality and gives each and every person the power to express themselves through fragrance. Scentbird lets you choose a designer fragrance to try every month for just $17. Every month you get to pick and choose what you want, so there are absolutely no surprises. They have perfumes and colognes and a ton of unisex options. With each fragrance, you'll get a 30-day supply, so you can try out a ton of fragrances without committing to a full-size bottle, which we know can be very pricey. You can discover new fragrances by taking a simple quiz on Scentbird. Based on your preferences, previous purchases, and quiz answers, they'll find you a fragrance you'll love. Scentbird carries Prada, Gucci, Versace, and niche brands like Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of a Rebel. Make sure to use my coupon code DIEJESUS55 for 55% off at Scentbird. It's just a little over $7 for your first month, and it's available in the USA and Canada. This month, I received the Heretic Bergamas and Well Played by Confessions of a Rebel. Oh my god, these both are so good. I love the Bergamas for a good day scent. It's got this crisp jasmine and lavender scent to it, and it's very light. And then with the Well Played, oh my goodness, I love the hints of incense. Oh, and the taco beans and the cocoa seeds are just so good. It's my new favorite thing. So thank you, Sunbird, so much for sponsoring this video. And please check out the links below, guys. Thanks. I'm so excited for this one, guys. This is me and my most masochistic. Well, it's your baby. <laughs> so gets me every time. You looked dead, didn't I? Well, I wasn't. Mm. And I got bloody satisfaction. Go ahead, girl. But I have only one more. The one I'm driving to right now. Oh, nice open. Her eyes are piercing in this. I am gonna kill Bill. Mmm, girl, go off. Now, the way we normally do this, we have the bride's side, and then we have the groom's side. But since the bride ain't got nobody coming... I'm gonna go outside and get some air. Does she hear the flute? Or does she just have a feeling? Oh, she hears the flu. Hello, kiddo. Mm. You want to come to the wedding? Only if I can sit on the bride's side. You'll find it a bit lonely on my side. Your side always was a bit lonely. But I don't mm. anywhere else. Their connection is, like, insane. It's very palpable. Like, you can... Tommy, I'd like you to meet my father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> What's this about? His tone just switched so hard. Wedding. Yeah. Is it supposed to be bad luck for the groom to see the bride in her wedding dress? Complete tone shift. I guess I just believe in living dangerously. Oh. Just what you mean. Definitely building the tension so well here. Thank you. I wonder if this is just because, like, she tried to get out of being an assassin. Because, like don't like being part of a gang or something like, that, like you don't get out very easily <laughs> and this was a retaliation for her wanting out oh, no! wow that's even more fucked up that it was done that way also is bill like a scorned lover didn't he swear a blood oath to never make another sword? Or maybe you just tend to bring that out in people. Mmm. For real, though. <laughs> but you haven't by any chance kept up with your swordplay. 
Yeah, it must be more than that. Because they clearly you aren't all involved. Me. You hawked a Hattori Hanzo sword. It, it was priceless. <laughs> Not in El Paso, it ain't. <laughs> Wait, so he's been in El Paso too? Ooh. $250. You've got to get over being mad at me and start becoming afraid of me because she is coming. And she's coming to kill you. Mm. I don't dodge guilt. And I don't chew out of paying my comeuppance. His eyes looked so genuine there. We deserve to die. Mm. But then again, so does she. Just see. Won't we? Mm. But can't you tell time? There ain't nobody in here, man. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Are you even open? Do you want me to leave? No, I don't want you to leave. I want you to sit and wait. <laughs> there ain't nobody out there. What are you trying to convince me of exactly? That you're as useless as an asshole right here? Working Thursday? Yeah. Mm, I don't think so. With your cash is the only thing you kids seem to understand. Kids. I want you to go home till I call you. Till I call you. How many times have I told you? He's exactly what I expect from a sleazy strip club owner. Nailed the part. <laughs> oh, she must be here. Yes. How many times? Oh. Mm. This is the build up of these scenes for me. He does such a good job of creating tension. Oh, yeah, girl. She looks ragged. Ooh! I feel like she's got to have a vest or something on because she's not getting taken out like that. No way. Ain't nobody a badass and I'm double dose of rock salt that deep in their tits. <laughs> oh. That made me want to vomit. Chew spit is like the gross... I felt so- I feel disrespected for her. Oh! I thought she was just gonna come in and like kinda- I didn't think it was gonna be super easy, but I thought it was gonna be a lot easier than this. That he would probably be the easier on versus the Daryl Hannah's character. And then obviously Bill. Bill. Wrong brother. You hateful- <laughs> But- Bingo. I just caught me the cowgirl. Ain't never been caught. Guess what I'm holding in my hand right now. How much? Well, that's hard to say, being that it's <laughs> priceless and all. Oh, wow. A million dollars in folding cash. One condition. What? She must suffer to her last breath. Oh. I'm pretty much damn well guaranteed. What's craziest, I love how he does these films because, like, I'm so excited to find out the backstory of why Elle hates the bride and why bud thinks the bride should die too like oh i just i love it <laughs> oh this isn't a smaller frame uh, Oof. is he gonna bury her alive i'm so claustrophobic that's like a huge fear of mine <laughs> Oh my gosh, the corpse over there. Stop. Get me out of this hole! Oh, who'd he make? Dig it. Tell me it's the sleazy strip club owner. Dang it. <laughs> I don't, that just would have been like the cherry on top of a revenge Sunday. White women call this the silent treatment. <laughs> and we let them think we don't like it. Sorry. <laughs> 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 That's a kind of mace. You're going underneath the ground tonight. 
But if you're gonna act like a horse's ass, I'm gonna spray this whole damn can right in your eyeballs. Then you're gonna be blind, burning, and buried alive. The acting in this is so good. Now what's it gonna be, sister? This is for breaking my brother's heart. I'm starting to like feel claustrophobic for her. Like I hate all of this so much. Like getting really stressed. I'm like checking my pulse. <laughs> oh, I hate this. Oh my God, this would be so... <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm getting like, like I want to cry right now with her. Ooh, is this the background story? I May was inconsolable. What a storyteller. Have the flute accompaniment. The massacre of the Shaolin Temple and all 60 of the monks inside fists of the white lotus. So began the legend of Pai Mei's five-point palm exploding heart technique. And what, pray tell, is the five-point palm exploding heart technique? Yeah. The deadliest blow in all of martial arts. He teaches no one a five-point palm exploding heart technique. One of the things I've always liked about you. I love the wind rushing with the flute. That's... Ah! the little details in this. If you flash him, even for an instant, a defiant eye, he'll pluck it out. When will I see you again? That, my dearest, depends entirely on you. No back talk. At least not for the first year or so. You're gonna have to let him warm up to you. First year or so? This is super interesting. See who? This is so not what I anticipated. This is great. I'm clipping it out. Boy, bug him. Boy, you tell him, Mogong, you're getting some. Oh. oh, that was so B.A. <laughs> oh. Oh. Chan <laughs> I love this alternate reality, like, ah, uh, I love it so much. I love how he flips his beard like it's a hair flip. Like, <laughs> that's so good. You got a whole year coming at your home, sit here. What's your bill? You come at your home, hatch up in 
Mm. Oh. I love it so much. Oh my god, she's gonna punch through the coffin! Yes! I love how he's, like, Tarantino sells such a good story that you forget, like, that you're in another part of a movie. This is like the sec- Ah! Yes! This is so good. Okay, honey. Yeah, girl! Yes! Yeah. That's the only thing that would scare me would be the dirt falling on it, though. Oof. Yeah, girlfriend. Woo! Let's go, bride. Back from the dead for a second time. What a crazy image. May I have a glass of water, please? I'm ready for this. I love how I feel like they're mixing like a Western and then like a Kung Fu film. It's gonna be a two for one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm far too excited for this right now. <laughs> Can I look at the sword? That's my money right there in that red bag, isn't it? Well, <gasps> It's your sword now. You better check that bag. You are far too trusting right now. Ooh. <laughs> What's that you said? It's a Hattori Hanzo sword. Which are you filled with relief or regret? Mmm. A little bit of both. She's looking way too intrigued. At oh, I knew it was going to be a snake. Why did I know that? Oh, it was too easy. It was too easy. Whew, I knew it. <laughs> it's neurotoxic venom is one of nature's most effective poisons. A bite to the face or torso can bring death from paralysis within 20 minutes. Ooh, yo, she's cold. The biggest R I feel is regret. Regret that maybe the greatest warrior I have ever met met her end at the hands of a bushwhacking, scrub, elky piece of sh like you. <laughs> that woman deserved better. These ladies are bad asses. Because you will be standing at the final resting place of Beatrix Kiddo. Marty Catroser? Beatrix. Beatrix Kiddo. Here. I'm leaving now. You go smoke some pot or something. I'll be there soon. Woo! Girl! Oh. I have to stop yelling profanities. Woo! Ooh! Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! The, uh, uh. Ooh, and you know that toilet's. Oh! Ah! <sighs> He never sold the sword. To my brother Bud, the only man I ever loved. What a twist. What's that? Bud's Hanzo sword. Guess that makes him a liar now, don't it? Oh, she knows she's fucked. What did you say to Pi Maid 
to make him snatch out your eye. I called him a miserable old fool. Bad idea. I killed that miserable old fool. How do you like the fish head? Miserable old fool. I poisoned his fish heads. And now I'm going to kill you too. With your own sword, no less. Which in the very immediate future will become my sword. You don't have a future. I'm enjoying this far too much. <laughs> oh, the noise. I don't even have to see it. The noise. Mm. That was incredible. Also, for L to poison... Jaime, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, was kind of like the bitch move out. Like, you poisoned him. Big fucking whoop. Oh, I love that car, though. Oh, it's such a pretty color. Like most men who never knew their father, Bill collected father figures. Hmm. The first was Esteban Vejo. Yes. May I join you? I must warn you, young lady. I am susceptible to Where's Bill? Mm. Uh. Oh, wow. Um, what a way to prove a point. Do you know why I help you? No. I want to know. Because he will want me to. How oh, are you ever going to see you again? Ah, he's killing the soundtrack, though. Freeze, mommy. Bang, bang. Oh, oh, she got us, baby. Mommy got us. Oh. That's when little BB fired. Bang, bang. Ooh, get me really good real fast. Oh, this is just I knew the daughter had to come back somewhere, but not Ooh. Oh my. Did you dream of me? Oh my gosh. Every single night, baby. Every single night. Wow. Whew. I don't even know how this is gonna take a turn. I'm it's gonna be like another 45 minutes of me just being stressed. What I did to mommy. You shot on mommy? Worse. I knew what would happen to mommy if I shot her. What I didn't know was when I shot mommy, what would happen to me? What happened? I was very sad. Oof, this has to be a trip for her. No, I couldn't believe it. You got him to make you sore. It was easy. I just dropped your name, Bill. <laughs> That'd do it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I suppose the idea is we cross Hansa swords, am I right? Well, that private beach just so happens to look particularly beautiful, bathed in moonlight. This is so poetic. Then we could wait until dawn and slice each other up at sunrise like a couple of real life Hansa. Oh! Now, if you don't settle down, I'm gonna have to put one in your kneecap. So, before this tale of bloody revenge reaches its climax, I'm gonna ask you some questions. This is what I've been waiting for. Ah! Gotcha. What the f did 
did you just shoot me with? I call it the undisputed truth. Mm. With no druggy after effects. Except for a slight wave of euphoria. You feel it? Euphoria? Yeah. No. Too bad. <laughs> Batman is actually Bruce Wayne. Spider-Man is actually Peter Parker. He is. Superman didn't become Superman. Superman was born Superman. Ah, oh, I see where he's Superman going for that now. Up in the morning, right? He's Superman. Clark Kent is Superman's critique on the whole human race. Sort of like Beatrix Kiddo and Mrs. Tommy Plimpton. Ah, so the point emerges. You would have worn the costume of Arlene Plimpton. But you were born Beatrix Kiddo. And no matter how much beer you drank or barbecue you ate or how fat your ass got, nothing <laughs> in the world would ever change that. Did you really think your life in El Paso was going to work? No. But I would have had baby. Mm. Don't get me wrong. Do you remember the last assignment you sent me? The morning I left, I was sick. Mm. Hello, can I help you? Hello, I'm Karen Kim. I'm the hospitality manager of the hotel. I have a welcome gift from the management. Well, that's nice. Um, can you just leave it by the door? You pretty good with that shotgun? Not that I have to be at this range, but I'm a f***ing surgeon with this shotgun. I just found out, not a moment before you blew a hole through the door, that I'm pregnant. What is this? Ooh. I'm the deadliest woman in the world. Right now, I'm just scared for my baby. Please, just look at the strip. The box with the directions is right there. use you move the cap and <laughs> I don't know how this scene's gonna end but okay say I were to believe you what then just go home I'll do the same oh there's literally a knife in her arm how did I not notice that till right now oh congratulations <gasps> once you knew you'd claim her and I didn't want that. I chose her. Oh, wow. Letting somebody think somebody they love is dead when they're not is quite cruel. That's very fair. I overreacted. Is that your explanation? No, I didn't explain mm. myself. I said I was going to tell you the truth. There are consequences to breaking the heart of a murdering bastard. Mm. You and I have unfinished business. Baby, you ain't kidding. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh. Plan A taught you the five-point palm exploding art technique. Of course he did. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, why am I getting emotional? <laughs> because of a bad person. No. You're not a bad person. But every once in a while, you can be a real <laughs> Oh my god, why is this so touching? Oh, this is so well done. How do I look? You look ready.
It's just like the same motel from Pulp Fiction. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> a lot of emotion and I can't even imagine how conflicted one would feel with all of this. Aww. So, oh my goodness, I feel like this wasn't as animated of a reaction because I I just wanted to focus so much more on the plot and stuff and like the, there wasn't as much, I guess, fast moving action. But, oh, it's, it's like, Quinn Tarantino has won my heart. Like, he is so good at keeping you engaged for such extended period of time. Like, I always feel like I'm watching a movie within a movie within a movie because the storytelling is so great. And oh my God, and everybody's acting in this was just chef's kiss. Impeccable. Like, the love between Bill and Beatrix is just like, oh, it just, you just felt it. Like, you feel the connection. Like, also, like, when Bud says, like, uh we deserve to die and like so does I mean so does she but you can like see in his eyes that he fully has regret from what he's done and what he's lived through and everything else and it's just so well done I just want to oh I've got nothing but positive things to say and praise for it and that was absolutely insane uh thanks for sticking with me even though I had the coughs see you guys have a great day